Thank you for coming along on my boss mom journey, trying to keep it together and figure things out along the way. Let's get started. So as you can tell by the title of the video, we are in Mexico on a vacation. We are on our way to our resort called the Reef Coco Beach and I'm ready for some adventure. So it was about a 45 minutes an hour ride. It had little traffic and we also had another family in the um, van with us that they needed to drop off. But we was happy when we finally made it because that ride was a long. So this is the lobby of the Reef Coco Beach. As you can see, it's very bright, beautiful, and airy. Um, they actually met us with some mimosas as most um, hotels do when you first check in. And here's the nice bellboy taking us to our room. <laughs> Should I say our first room? Because here's where the story gets a little funny. So all of the hotel rooms are outside. So when you come out of your hotel room, you do see some type of scenery. So this was the room that the bellboy took us to. Um, it wasn't bad to me. Um, um, the room was a little old and outdated, though, with a close up of certain things. It was like a little dingy, um, a little old. It was you can tell that it hasn't been renovated for a while, but it wasn't bad to me. So the only thing about this room was that my boyfriend um, didn't really like the fact that it was so close to um, the ground for security purposes. So we asked them to switch us to another room now. The room that they switched us to, I do not have a video of it, but it was way worse than this. When I say way worse, I mean way worse. The mirrors were scratched. The, everything was just not good. The room smelled like cigarettes. Um, the view was pretty much the same. Um, the TV didn't work, so we had to have somebody come and fix our TV. Plus, it was too bad, so we were sleeping like I Love Lucy. So this is actually us at the snack bar after the buffet. That was disgusting. Um, it just wasn't good at all. So we wind up going to the snack bar, which is open um, late at night um, and throughout the day when the restaurant is closed. And the food is actually way better than it was at the um, the um the buffet and at this point we're both ready to go home we're missing our daughter our room is not right and the food is disgusting so we get back to the room and we get somebody to fix our tv and as i'm laying there i get an email from expedia asking me how was my experience at the hotel and of course i was honest i never really write a review but this time i did so the next morning things got a lot better breakfast was amazing the view at breakfast was amazing and of course before the fun starts, we had to set up our COVID test. So the COVID test is done at the hotel in the designated room um, with the doctor that comes there. You have to schedule your time and you have to have a COVID test done um, to get back into the U.S. at least 72 hours. So we had to set it up um, before the time slots was booked. Crazy thing is you do not need a COVID test to get in Mexico, but we took one just to be on the safe side before we left. And you cannot take a rapid test. You have to take the PCR test to get back into the U.S. And that one cost $125. So after we got the business out of the way, it was time to have some fun. So we decided to take some bikes at the hotel, which was free of charge, and ride around Mexico. Um, the area that we was in was actually really safe. Um, it is the Pla de la Carmen area. Um, the streets around there are really safe. They actually had a police station that we rode by. I guess they wanted to make sure that all of the tourists are safe because they want them to return. So we actually enjoyed riding around and see the scenery. So after we get back to the hotel from bike riding, and here's the funny part. When we walk into the lobby, we was greeted by, I guess, the, ho the, the hotel manager. And apparently, Expedia did not wait to send them our review. I thought they was going to see it when we left. So he says, we have new renovated rooms. So if you have your stuff packed up, we can give you a new room by the time you get back from um, the Playa Car Hotel. And I'm just thinking to myself, well, why didn't you guys um, give us that in the first place? So they pretty much extended our gold bands that we paid for one day, which was $18. And they let us have it for the rest of the time. So right now we're on our way to the sister resort, which we can get into um, um, with the gold break bands. And we're able to eat and drink unlimited there as well. Um, this is the sister resort. This is the Playa Car. 
um i actually stayed here um the last time i came to mexico my best friend this result is resort is amazing but also the rooms are the same it's kind of crappy you apparently the trick is you have to ask for um newly renovated rooms to get the best rooms which is crazy but if you want to go on vacation for a cheaper price take the room that they give you and then you pay 18 dollars for the band um to go to this resort um i love this resort it's way better because the beach is so amazing it's wide it's clear the the water is beautiful um at our other resort the beach is not that great um, they have like a million boats docked on it. I don't understand why. Apparently, the boats take people out on the water to do different activities. Um, but I much rather see that. You see that? See how gorgeous it was? Um, so the weather wasn't as great while we was in Mexico either. Um, but we had some some sun peeking out of the clouds. And it wasn't as cold as New York where we're from. So either way, we was grateful to experience this nice, beautiful weather and scenery because back home right before we left, it actually snowed. So I forgot to get a closer video of how the beach looked at Coco Reef, but here's a video explaining exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see, all the boats lined up and at nighttime is even more. So another thing that's cool about the Playa Car Resort, they have a lot of water sports on the beach. Um, this is us doing parasailing. And here's a tip. Never do parasailing when it's a windy day. So that was my second time doing it. And it was scary as hell with the wind this time around. Here is a seashell I found and an up close and personal view of how beautiful the water was. So when we got back to the um, hotel, this is actually the room that they gave us. This is actually a video of us leaving because I forgot to get a video of us when we first got the room. But there's a huge, huge difference when you look a little closer. Um, a lot of things are brand new. Um, the TV is actually mounted on the wall compared to the other hotel room. And the countertop in this bathroom is way better and as you can see we have a walk-in shower instead of the outdated tub looking bathroom that was in my last video um well last clip um everything was just way better in this room and you can tell that it was renovated um there is a glass door that d divides the newly renovated rooms for the um older rooms and you can actually tell so this is our view it doesn't look as different um but it is a partial um ocean view so it is a better view um it's a little higher up and this is one of the bars that was exclusive to anybody that had a gold band it actually has like premium drinks um drinks that are imported from the u.s all the other drinks that the other bars are actually you know their drinks um so this is a view of us on the way to dinner that is the snack bar we eat at when we are still hungry from the food or we didn't like the food and these stairs that we're going up leads to all of the restaurants this night we actually was going to um hibachi here's a night view of the top of where the restaurants are located as you can see, everything is really nice at nighttime as well with the lighting and the pool. To me, Hibachi was one of the best restaurants they had and the show was really amazing. So the next day they picked us up at the resort at 8 o'clock in the morning and we went to this excursion. Um, it's huge. Huge, huge, huge. So the first thing we did was this <laughs> underground river, which was really, really amazing. It was actually 45 minutes long. And the one thing I would say is to double check with the person that you're booking with to make sure whatever you're paying for is all included because we definitely got the wrong information, but we still was able to have a great time. A lot of the things we did was included, but some of the things we wanted to do was not included. Um, this is the Underground River. So what I thought was really cool is that they had these little designated um, picture scanning parts where you could scan your wristband and take a professional picture. I thought that was a really cool feature. So here we are at the Coral Reef. Now, um, this was actually part of the package, so you didn't have to pay for it uh, once you paid to get into the park. But they also had another one when they actually take you out on a boat in the middle of the ocean to snorkel. But this was just as great. I've actually done the out in the water snorkeling before, so I was okay with just doing this one. It was so cool though. 
so this park was really great it actually had a lot included with the package that we bought it had like this little boat ride they had a lot of different animals as you can see the flamingos and so many different things to do so the park actually included a show which we skipped out on we decided to get back to the hotel and chill by the pool have some drinks and, and enjoy some sun so the second night we went to an Italian restaurant, which you had to book for along with the um, hibachi. The food was okay. It was tiny, tiny portions. So of course we ended up back at the snack bar. After dinner, they actually had a mariachi band perform in like this auditorium area. It was pretty cool. We stayed for a little while and then we went back to the room to chill out because we was pretty exhausted from the excursion. So this is our final day. We had breakfast in the morning, which was great. Absolutely, the whole time we was there, we chilled poolside, had some drinks, got in some sun, cause the sun did come out and was nice and bright that day and enjoyed the last view of our room. So I would say that this vacation was absolutely a success. So my tips would be to stay at Playa Car if you don't mind spending the money. If you do mind spending the money, stay at Coco Reef Beach and pay $18 per day or for one day to go over there and enjoy the amenities. I had an amazing time in Mexico. This is not my first time, but I probably won't be back anytime soon because I do want to see other parts of the world. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next Thank time. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. And don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel.